uh, I will uh, request Bhavin to present his talk. Okay, let me start. So, uh, hi, I'm Bhavin. So, I will be talking about a project I have been working on since March 2021 with my younger brother, uh, who is a commerce student, by the way. So, um, 3D what? Uh, 3D printers. Um, something like uh, uh, I have seen in sci-fi movies. Um, not really. We are already there now. Um, so these are 3D printers on your desk. Uh, one example is Prusa i3, which is by Joseph Prusa. Uh, another example is Creality Ender 3, or something like which uh, we built uh, from scratch. So how do they work, right? You might be wondering uh, if you have uh, never seen one. Uh, something like this. So they basically build everything layer by layer. Um, so there are two techniques. Uh, one is uh, FFM or FDM, uh, where the material is fused and put layer by layer on each other uh, on top of it. Another is SLA, which is stereolithography, uh, which basically uh, done using liquid resin. Uh, but why build one, right? If you can get one. Um, so we thought it might be slightly cheaper to buy one. Um, another was freedom. So this is the freedom in terms of modifying anything. Freedom as in uh, free software, right? We talk about free software, open source, that the freedom and the control you get with it. So if you want to modify something, you can definitely do with the printer, which you have yourself built. So the project RepRap, right? Uh, it stands for Replicating Rapid Prototyper. Uh, the first RepRap printer was built by Adrian uh, Boyer. And this is a community project, which actually started a revolution of this uh, open source or open source hardware 3D printers. Um, so where is the Python involved, right? You might be wondering. So there are a lot of projects which are crucial in this ecosystem. Uh, free of some examples, FreeCAD, it is a 3D modeling software. Uh, printer phase is something which will run on your machine and give instructions to your printer. And there are slicing softwares which actually convert your 3D model into some instructions for your printer. These are like Ultimaker, Cura or Octoprint or something. So. Were we able to achieve it, build it? Yes, uh, it was a success. We got the printer working. Uh, some more images, if you are wondering, right? You want to see some more images. So let me go through them. So this is the design we did in the FreeCAD uh, that is like to understand how it will look like. Um, next, this is the first frame, initial frame, which we came up with uh, based on the design we had. So you can see the printer is printing something right now. So this is part of a 3D printer. So you can see this is kind of a recursion or self-replication. Um, uh, a 3D printer cover for my YubiKey. Um, 3D Benchy. This is like a, one of the popular uh, 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 model which people usually print using 3D printers. Uh, you might be wondering now, right? If I should buy one or build one. Um, if you have time and you are interested in building something, if you want to take up the challenge, I would say go for it because uh, uh, it, it's slightly cheaper, one or 2000 rupees, but uh, still it's worth it because you will learn a lot of things along the way. And if not, if you are just want to print some things and get started, I would suggest go with something like Creality Ender 3 or something. That, that would be your best choice, Get you, it will get you started immediately. So if you want to read about the whole story, it is uh, uh, on my website, uh, geeksocket.in. So you can check that out. And that's it. Thank you.